Hey guys, welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. It's season five. Can you believe it is season five? That is absolutely mental. We're in July 2024 and we've got a lot of work to do. The window is open. I've decided on one or two players that I want to either replace or sell and a couple of players that I'm interested in bringing in. I don't have the kits ready just yet. Hopefully, they're going to be ready tomorrow. Liam, if you're watching, he's the, the kit maker. He's got a job interview today. Good luck, man. I, I wish you the best. Um, so let's see if we can get those targets in, ready for the first game of the season against Tottenham. And um, it's Tottenham again, the Community Shield. We, of course, won the FA Cup. Spurs won the league. And I'm looking to beat them in a final once again. Technically, though, is it really a final? I, I don't really like classing the Community Shield as a trophy, but it does go down as silverware. Anyway, what I'm going to do is show you the players that I've got on my transfer list at the moment. We have, of course, Harry Day. I was thinking, by the way, was he not 86 last season? I don't, I don't know what's happened there. It could be that he was actually 85 and I'm just remembering incorrectly. Or it could be he picked up an injury. I don't know, but we're going to look to sign Harry Day, of course. We want to bring him back. That was always the plan. Sell him and then maybe one day we can bring him back to the club. So we're going to look at doing that. The good news is it seems he's only got a year left on his current deal. So that would mean he only signed a four-year contract which is interesting. You would have expected a five-year deal or at least a renewal by now. But uh, it means we can sign him for close to his value. So that is going to save us a ton of money. And I'm thinking of selling Davies to bring in Day. They can be basically a replacement. Also, I'm looking to bring in a new left back to replace Luke Thomas. Of course, we don't have um, Luke Thomas's face in game in FIFA and the mod we've made for him because there was no good pictures to use for him it was very difficult to make the face mod and it's been winding me up it just doesn't look like him so I'm going to swap him out I want Nkunku because he's about the same rating and I've decided to expand my search we're not just staying with English players I think it's time to just go a bit more broad and you know we brought in Nigerian Ian Acho for example we've had a couple of other players we've had Dutch players like Backer and um, Chong. And then, of course, we've got some Americans. But now I'm, I'm going away from just British Isles, typically. And maybe we'll sign a, a young French player. And I think Nkunku could actually be very good. 77 rated, around maybe 18 million or something like that to sign him up. He's got really decent stats. So he can be the new backup left back, basically because I hate looking at Thomas in my menu. It, it, it just look it doesn't look anything like him. And you guys know me. I like to have a face mod or two. So that's um, that's the plan at the moment. Two defensive signings and two players that will be sold from my defense. Otherwise, I don't really know. We're just going to see what happens. I think the squad is more than good enough to uh, to push through the Europa League this season and hopefully win that tournament. Actually. What is the objective? Let's have a look. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's interesting. They want me to win the Europa League. However, it is a low priority. Youth development, again, is a high priority. It's just dumb. Of course, we're not going to be using the uh, Youth Academy at this point. Uh, brand exposure, go five games without defeat. So in a row. Domestic success. Wait, there was another one. Sign one crucial first team player to a forward position. Okay, well, maybe that's not going to be something we do. Although it's a high priority, so maybe we should. Domestic, they want me to finish in the top four. And they want me to win the FA Cup. Financially, it's not a big deal. Very low priority. Within the same season, sign two crucial players. And make a profit of 45 million. Do you know what? I actually think that's possible. Because, as I said, I am looking to sell one or two players. So this is the team at the moment. I'm potentially going to go back to four at the back. I haven't fully decided yet, but Davies is a player that I would like to sell. And as I mentioned, Thomas as well. I mean, look at the picture. It, it, it just doesn't look like him. And he tried his best to make his face mod, but unfortunately there just wasn't any good high quality pictures of Luke Thomas to, to map on a face. So yeah, it's just doing my head in. By the way, we have got our players back that were on loan. So go, uh, Gordon's 76, John is 70, and Faulkner is now 76. So it's another reason to potentially sell Davies. We've got Faulkner 
and hopefully Harry Day coming in. So we will be really strong in that centre-back position. Another reason I kind of want to go back to four at the back is because Kenny, I wasn't using him towards the end of the season and he's so good. He's such a good player. So I think possibly we'll start this season with this formation. It's basically a 4-2-3-1, but the wingers are a bit more wide. I just want to give that a go. Typically, though, I'll probably end up resorting to 4-2-3-1. Nelson's 85 now. Oh, my God. Just look at his stats. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, Davies, transfer listed. Thomas, transfer list. Let's do that. Yeah, it says we don't have another left back, but that's because, of course, Holt has been converted. So, actually, I think I'm going to convert him back now. Why is it showing me this tutorial page? Go away. Position... Left back, it of course will only take three weeks. He did really well at centre-back, but if we're signing Harry Day, it seems silly to use him at centre-back as well. So it's another reason to maybe go back to four at the back. Uh, do I sell a goalkeeper? I think I might just keep all three this season. Might be good to have uh, a lot of rotation because it's going to be a busy season. We have a lot of fixtures. Is it time for John to go? Showing great potential, 70 rated. Do you know what? Again, I've got lots of fixtures. Maybe I can use him this season. We've still got Fossey there as well. Stevenson came back from his loan, 76 rated. Um, I'm probably going to sell Lingard. He's already transfer listed and I'll keep Stevenson. And that number 10 shirt will go to Cummings, I think, because I'm going to keep Curtis. I still like him. Otherwise, that's that's the team. So I guess we should make an offer for Harry Day. Let's just get him in. I've got a very, very healthy budget and I've decided not to do a preseason tournament because of it. We don't need extra money. I can easily make these two signings. So let's go ahead and do it. I will be keeping Backer, just so you guys know. I love Backer. It'd be silly to sell him. Is that Sam Allardyce? My God. He is a skinny Donny in this game. So his value is 64. He's got 12 months left on his deal. We should be able to get it close to 64. I could try and offer Davies as a swap, but I think we'll just sell him instead. So I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. I'm going to throw in 60. Although it might, oh, it might annoy them, but I've got loads of time. I'm just going to try it. Let's try 60. <laughs> Sam, big Sam, look, I know you're... You're known for saving teams from relegation. Well, up until this season just passed. But you need to think hard about what you just did. What is that? 60 million. Unbelievable. This was the perfect time to do this deal. If I had did, if I did this last season, it would have been over 100 million, which we couldn't afford at the time. Instead, now that we can afford over 100 million, we're going to get him cheaper because they didn't tie him down to a longer contract. Why haven't they offered him a new deal? Surely they were about to do that, you know, at the beginning of this season. Of course, we're going to give him crucial. He's going to come back and play straight away in the team. He's 85 rated. I'm, I'm debating giving him the captaincy over Holt. I don't know. Holt or Day? Let me know in the comments who should be captain. We will sign him on a five-year deal. I hope in FIFA 22 they add in six-year deals. Those are a thing these days. Six-year deals. Don't need a release clause. And his wage is cheap. What the hell? Okay, we're going to remove the bonus. I'm actually going to offer him 60k because I love the guy. And here you go. Have a nice sign-on fee as well. 600,000 up front. Surely he signs this deal. And it's done. Harry Day is returning to Pompey. I told you I would get it done as soon as I could afford it. Cannot wait to see him back in this team. That is going to improve our team defensively massively. It does mean, though, that Backer drops to the bench. How crazy is that? If I compare Backer and Day, Day is faster, better at shooting and passing. He's more physical. However, defensively, he's not actually as good. Can you believe that? Okay, so Davies will come out. Why isn't it suggesting day? There we go. He's actually out on international duty with England at the moment. 95 pace. And then we've got Tamori with 89 pace. It's, it's broken. I'm, I think for now, I want to give captaincy to Holt because, you know, Captain Holt, 9-9. Nine, nine, you guys know the reference. And maybe day can get captain some point I, I don't know you guys will just have to let me know in the comments down below but maybe it wouldn't happen because you know he left he left the team maybe we should just go with Holt we might as well sign Nkunku as well let's just get him in we're looking at less than 20 million so again should be a very easy deal 
Ancelotti this time. Oh, I've been busy today. I haven't even simulated a day and we're back in the office here up in a... I, I don't know why it's some massive tall skyscraper in the middle of, well, <laughs> Portsmouth. <laughs> doesn't really make any sense, does it? Unless I've travelled to Everton, but I, d I doubt they've got some skyscrapers like this building. Uh, we'll offer a transfer fee. Again, I'm, I'm going to be... I could be cheeky, but it's such a little amount of money. I'm actually just going to put in 16 and a half million. That should be enough, right? It should be enough. Oh, interesting. They want Davies. That is interesting. And they want 100k. Uh, <laughs> fine. Do you know what? Whatever. You can have it. Money is not a big issue. And I'm happy to help out Everton. We also bought Kenny from them. Well, technically not. It was a free agent, right? So I'm going to do a deal with them. Let me just mute this cutscene. And um, let's get Nkunku in the team. He wants rotation. That's fine by me. Don't forget, we will be selling Thomas. So this is our new backup left back. I want at least a four-year deal, man. We're not doing three years. That's not a good idea. Disregard the release clause. Again, it's, it's not going to be too expensive at all. He's actually willing to come down on his wages. So I'm just going to give him what he had. 420 as the signing bonus. Hell yeah. Let's go. 420. Is it enough? Done deal. How long was that? I've been recording for just over 10 minutes and we've done two deals, including Davies going the other way. And that is done. Let me go ahead and give Nkunku a new number. What number are we feeling? Um, so Thomas wears 33. I might just give Nkunku 33. It looks kind of good. So Luke Thomas, hopefully we'll get an offer for him soon. And I think... That's all I want to do in terms of signings from my perspective, but maybe you guys have some other ideas as well. Uh, there's the email saying the transfer budget has increased. Gordon. Okay, interesting. What, why is it giving me these tutorials? I'm not new to career mode, okay? Uh, okay, so they want to sign Gordon. There's no way I'm selling him that cheap. In fact, I'm just going to block offers. He's actually better than Dyson now because of that loan. Thomas wants to go. Oh, he's 79 rated now. Okay, well, I'm glad we agree. What I should really do is prioritize doing some contracts now because if players aren't happy with their contracts, you know, it can cause issues. So Gordon needs a new one. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'll try 35. Okay, he, he will take an extra year. That's fine. Who else? Backer wants a new contract. To be fair, <laughs> he is incredible. We'll go with 80. He'll take 90. That's fine. Uh, Kenny wants a new deal as well. I can do that. God, this is expensive. I think, again, it'll be around the 90 mark. He's around the same rating. There you go, 90. Noga wants a new one. By the way, I've given him his old number back. Number 37. Uh, let's give him 50k. Done deal. He's happy with that. John wants a new deal. I might as well protect my investment. See if I can get him on 15k. 18 and a half, that's fine. Nelson wants a new deal as well. He's probably one of my best players, if not my best player. So I'm going to give him a six-figure deal. 100,000. Nice. This is easy so far. Fossey wants a new deal as well. I'm willing to offer you 50k. He'll take it. But it didn't give a thumbs up on the contract. It's just a neutral. He's, a, he's okay with it, but that's fine. Stevenson, yeah, time for a new deal for him. Uh, try 40. And he'll take it. Again, a neutral response there. Uh, Curtis wants a new deal as well. He's been here for a long time. So I will reward him with 85,000. Again, just a neutral reaction, mate. Come on. That is a lot of money. Gail wants a new deal. I think 75. That is enough. Thumbs up. And Rogers wants a new contract. Oh, God. Uh, he's my best player. Stats-wise, 125, yes, he signs the deal. So in terms of morale, Lingard, Loftus-Cheek, Fossey, you know, a couple of players are content, but we do have a lot of happy players as well, and we've got three very happy players, so that's good to see. We've done the contracts, I don't have to worry about that now. Look at this news, Portsmouth grab bargain. I'm surprised it doesn't say something like the return of the young prodigy or whatever, it turns out that Harry Day was probably the worst player to sell. Or was it? I, th I think maybe Rogers would have gone on to be insane as well. I think maybe we should have done Hog. Of course, I put it to a vote and most people voted to sell Harry Day. 
But I think if we sold Hog, I probably would have regretted that as well, even though I've ended up using Lingard and Mount since then. Either way, I think I was always going to look at it and go, damn, they've improved a lot. But to bring him back for 60 million a few seasons later at 85 rated, it's not too bad, is it? But there was an angry fan voicing his opinion. It's ridiculous. We should have got more for him. Invest in a better player. Look, they've got Davies, right? No, that was Everton. They didn't even get Davies. Yeah, that, that is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we've got a Tamori transfer offer here. 11 million plus who? Rolando Mandar M Mandragora. Uh, that is a no, I'm afraid. Tamori is Day's partner in crime. Th those two guys at centre-back are going to be so good together. There's no way I'm selling him. Uh, wait, is it is it the World Cup at the moment? I don't know what's going on here. I can't remember what year we're in already. My memory's so bad. It's 2024, so that's a Euros. Interesting. So maybe we're going to see a couple of my players on international duty come back as Euro winners. Leverkusen are interested in signing Jesse Lingard. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. I'm sure he'll absolutely kill it over there. He's still only 31. I could still keep him and use him, but I really want that number 10 shirt, as you know. And also, I need to give Stevenson a go, and Hogg needs more game time. He's still only 78 rated, so yeah, we'll, we'll let Lingard go. Still waiting for an offer to come in for Thomas, and there it is, and it's Wolfsburg. Okay, 19 million is not a very good offer. So I am actually going to go ahead and negotiate this one. And let's see if we can get a bit more money. I think we can probably get close to around 25, surely. Out of interest, though, who have they got? I don't need a goalkeeper, but I'm always interested to see what the CPU has done, what kind of signings they've made. They've got Philip Max, Alexandro, William as well. Centre-backs, do they have LaCroix, is that his name? No, they don't have him anymore. But they do have David Alaba, they've got Konza and Dika. They've got some great players. Strikers, they've got Mbolo, Boateng, Morelos, wingers. Wow. Do you know what? They've actually done really well. Hatteran's in there as well. He's a great player. Lima as well. Fekir, Brozovic. Oh my God. Well, yeah, you can definitely afford to pay a little bit more. I'm willing to go to like 22 and a half. That's, that's a good enough deal for me. Get it done. Really? Oh, do you know what? Whatever. As I said, I just need to get rid of Thomas. It's doing my head in looking at that face mod. It doesn't quite work. But uh, that's a good thing. That means we're going to have three players sold, hopefully, in the next few in-game days. Lingard has gone. Nice. 15 million in the transfer budget. But, of course, money is not an issue. We can absolutely buy whoever we want at this point. Well, <laughs> within reason. I don't think I could go out and buy Mbappe, for example. Now, is Thomas going to go or what? It's taking ages. There we go. Thomas has gone as well. So that is all the players I wanted to sell. Gone. Just like that. It is done. a done deal. We still have quite a few players on the bench that maybe won't play. Maybe I should sell John or loan him out again. What do we think about John? I remember right, when, I, when I first got him, I thought he could be like a, a little bit of an Akin Fenwa in midfield. Short, but really strong. He's got 87 strength. And uh, he's only six, well, only six foot. He's around the same height as me, so he's not that short. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to use him, guys. I might just, maybe I'll loan him out again. We could loan him out again. That's that's not a bad idea. So we'll let Big Johnny go out on loan again. And um, that frees up a little bit of space in the squad if we want to bring anyone else in. But there you go. Good luck, Big Johnny. I wonder who's going to come in for him. Brazil have won the South America Cup. I love how they've called it the South America Cup. They've beaten Venezuela. Didn't they play Venezuela last night in real life? I was, I was watching Brazil. I can't remember who they're playing against now. I'm pretty sure it was Venezuela, actually. But uh, fair play to Brazil. And Germany have won at the European Championship. So we do not have any players from Germany. So unfortunately, it looks like England couldn't get the job done. Unlucky. It was actually France in the final against Germany. In the semi-finals, France beat England there. Germany beat Czech Republic. England beat Belgium in the quarterfinals. And look at Portugal getting knocked out there as well. And then in the group stage, how did England do? They came second against Czech Republic, Turkey and Hungary. Uh, we can actually have a look at the South America Cup as well, because why not? Third place was Uruguay. 
Look at that. Brazil winning on penalties against Uruguay. Argentina getting knocked out by Venezuela. Crazy. Well, I just thought I'd check that. It's interesting. We've got that game against Tottenham coming up quite soon. Just waiting to see if we do get any loan offers coming in. I should probably check the free agents as well. You know, sometimes you can find absolute gems in there. So let's go ahead and confirm Holt's new position. He's back to being a left back. And let's check the free agents. Thing is, what are the odds that I'm going to find someone that's, you know, 80 rated or more? I think it's very unlikely, but it's always worth checking. I remember I did a stream career mode not too long ago with... Quite a low-ranked team. I can't remember what team it was, but I remember finding Lucas from Tottenham after, I think it was season two, just sitting in the free agents. Absolutely unbelievable. And actually, I signed him up, and he was incredible. So it is always worth checking. I always put in a, a, a minimum and maximum age, and then obviously I, I go via position. And you can really quickly go through it by pressing Y, so they're in a list, and then just look at the stats and just scroll through really quickly if you see a lot of green, you know it's a good player, but I'm looking for dark green, really. Dark green stats signifying, you know, 80 rated plus, something like that. It, it doesn't look like we're going to find anyone. He's decent. Looking at attacking players now, and I don't see anyone with, you know, 80 plus shooting. Nothing. Even 70 plus, it's just... Pretty dry, not enough good players in the free agents. But to be fair, once you get to this stage in a road to glory, it's very unlikely you're going to find someone in the free agents that can actually elevate your team. When you're looking for 80 plus, it's not going to work. But the free agents list is so good whilst you're building up your team. I could have bought maybe three or four players that I saw there that were good enough for an early Premier League side, you know, which we were not so long ago. But anyway, guys, I think... That is going to be it for this episode because, of course, I don't want to play the first game without my my kits. They should be ready tomorrow for tomorrow's episode. Um, what I'll do is I will just get towards the Tottenham game and see if we get any offers coming in. But I think we're pretty much done with the, uh, the window so far. So it's time for you guys to get your comments down below. Get in the Discord as well. The link is in the description. Tell me who you would like to see. We will be loaning out Charles John to Angers, I guess. Might as well. It's a one-year loan. No loan to, to buy. It's just going to be a straight-up 12-month loan. And we'll get him back next season. We've got another one here from Udinese. Go ahead and accept that as well. He can choose. You can choose where you want to go. Ideally, I wanted to loan him within England. But uh, I guess that's not going to be possible at this rate. Oh, we've got a transfer offer for backer. And blocked. <laughs> we don't need the money. And there's no way I'm selling him. What a free signing he was as well. That, that was ridiculous, wasn't it? So, so good. I could get away with not signing Day because of Baka. They're, they're both very, very good. Looks like he has chosen and he has gone to Angers. It's not Angers, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not very good at my French or any other languages, really. Um, that's good, though. He's going to go to France. He's turned down Udinese. He doesn't want to go to Italy. France it is for Big Johnny. Hmm, what do you think I'm going to say to this one, guys? Mason Mount, 80 million. <laughs> nope. Instantly blocked again. Get out. No chance. Really, I should go through my list of players and block offers on all the players I like. But sometimes you do get an offer in and you're, you're a little bit convinced by it. It's a lot of money, for example. Uh, it looks like Stefan has reached his full potential. 83. Do you know what? That's incredible. He has turned out to be a great signing. I recently checked on um, Colombi. He's 84 rated. So he has gone up higher than Stefan. But you know the reasons why I decided to, to do that. And it's worked out well. You can't deny it. Stefan was very, very good last season. Couple of mistakes here and there. But in general, he was superb. It's showing me more tutorials. I don't know. Oh, and now it's making me do the press conference. Might as well answer these questions. What can we expect in Day's first game? He's a man on a mission. He wants to prove why we've spent 60 million on him. <laughs> um, is Hog ready to step in now? He's got all the tools, which is true. We know Hog can do it, but come on, we've got Mason Mount still. And what are you expecting from this clash against Spurs? I just want a good performance. I'm confident we can win. Yes, we beat Spurs, okay, especially in big games. 
But as I said, guys, that is now going to be the end of this episode. I'm sorry there's no gameplay, but it, it would ruin the immersion if I played a game in the original kits and then suddenly changed them. For me, at least. So tomorrow's episode, hopefully the kits will be ready and I can't wait to show you them. They do look really good. They're just not quite finished yet. Um, and we'll start season five with our first game up against Spurs. This is the team at the moment. Rogers is now 88 rated. Oh my God. That's mad. But the biggest news of today, Harry Day is back, guys. We've got him. Cannot wait to see him back on the pitch for Portsmouth. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode.